Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Kiera. For those who are new, if this is your first time on my channel, um, I am here to give you guys a collective reading for what's coming to you this Aquarius season. So if you click on this video, then there is definitely gonna be some messages in here for you. Um, I just wanna start off by saying, Happy New Year, welcome to 2023. I hope your year has started off as an amazing year so far. My year so far has been a lot better than it was last year. Um, I haven't really been putting out any readings on my channel lately because of the fact that I just feel like my energy was off. And if we were completely honest, I don't like to post pick a car readings or any type of readings where I'm trying to uplift someone else and I don't feel uplifted myself, if that makes sense. So that's why at the end of 2022, I didn't really post any readings like that, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and post, you know, more collective readings again. Um, so like I said today, for today's reading, we're going to be um, getting into what is coming to you this Aquarius season, some messages that you can use this Aquarius season, some advice. So let's go ahead and get into these messages. So the first deck we're going to be getting cards from is the Moology Oracle deck. And the first card we have is a personal issue reach a personal issue reaches resolution and this is a full moon in cancer so just with that card alone i feel that um for something for that to be the first card to come out i feel like this is going to be a reading going along along the lines of an emotional like emotional baggage like you know releasing emotions letting go full moons is all about releasing things and all things like that so i feel like with this being a full moon in cancer a personal issue reaches resolution i feel that for most of you viewers you're probably going to be releasing old emotions old baggage things that you want to let go of um and things that you know probably held you back in 2023 so coming into this aquarius season you're going to be getting to the point where you could finally release and let go of these issues um we also have blue moon blue moon believe in the impossible so if you felt like it was impossible for you to you know finally get past these situations or finally move on from these situations this is telling you to believe that anything can happen if you felt like you were going to be down forever dealing with whatever it is that you've been dealing with these past few months or this the past year 2022 or even for me personally I've been dealing with the baggage I've been dealing with since 2020 so it's for me it's been you know two years okay but for some it might not be that long but just believe in the impossible believe that whatever it is that you want to get through you will get through um healing growth and all that takes time nothing is just going to happen within a blink of an eye some things can but when it comes to healing you have days where you feel great you have days where you feel like crap and that's just being completely honest um I feel that for this reading i feel that you need to believe that it is possible for you to move past these emotions it is possible for you to put these emotions in the past if that makes sense oh my gosh we i can't even talk right okay we have i think that's balsamic moon a time for healing okay like i said this is something for you guys i feel like you guys are healing something you are moving past something you are getting over something that caused you to be down these past few months and i feel that you guys are really really stepping into your own energy stepping into your power and healing yourself and although you may have some help along the way of healing i feel that I feel like there's going to be like a huge shift in the way you start to view what you've been going through, the way you start to view everything that you've been experiencing. I feel like there's going to be a huge, huge shift in the way you start to acknowledge your growth and acknowledge the things that you've been through. Um, we also have step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. Um, so with the North Node, the North Node is about uh, like your destiny, your life. Um, not your life path, but um, what you're meant to do this not meant, what you're meant to do this lifetime. So, I feel like stepping out of your comfort zone is gonna get you to the point of being in a place where you can actually get in alignment, make get in alignment of the things that you're supposed to do this lifetime. So, I feel like he, moving. In, Healing and moving past these obstacles that you've been faced with these past few years is something that's going to help you get past and move forward in your life. Um, maybe these things have been holding you back and um, stepping out of your comfort zone, allowing yourself to feel through these emotions. And I feel like 
when it comes to these emotions, I feel like for most of you, you probably leave your emotions bottled up and you don't allow yourself to feel vulnerable. And I think stepping out of that and stepping out of your comfort zone of, you know, allowing people in, allowing yourself to feel these emotions, allowing yourself to process these emotions is going to be the key to getting the results that you need in your healing journey on your healing process. And we also have the full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach. Um, this is literally just saying that everything, all the power that you need, all the power that you want to have with your healing process is in your hands, is in no one else's hands but yours. And I feel that once you start to look at it from a standpoint of I am in control of my own feelings, my own emotions, that's when you're going to start to transform and transmute all those harsh energies, all those bad feelings and emotions and everything that you've been bottling up once you start to acknowledge the fact that you are in control over how you feel how you react and how you allow others to make you feel most importantly is when you're going to start to see a shift in a domino effect and everything that's going to start to occur in your life um so now we're going to get some cards from the i am here oracle deck so the first card we have is trust your intuition we also have this is a cancer card trust your intuition um there's a lot of cancer energy right here so i need to scoot these cards up so we have cancer trust your intuition so this is all about Cancer is about intuition, it's about emotions, your inner world, your inner feelings. And Cancer is naturally ruled by the moon. So the fact that you got the full moon in Cancer card along with the Cancer Trust Your Intuition card, this is telling me and also me telling you that you need to believe in yourself. Like trust yourself, trust that you know what is right for you, trust that you know what is meant for you and what is good for you. Um, don't allow... Don't allow anyone else to tell you how you should feel, what you should feel, how you should process your emotions. Only you know what is best for you. And if something, if you get that little edgy feeling that something is off with someone, or if you're not feeling a certain, if you're feeling a certain way about someone else, or just anything, if you get this little, just certain, just gut instinct about anything, you need to trust it first. Um, so the next card we have is don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, and in connectivity with a time for healing. In connectivity with a time for healing. I feel like when it comes to this healing journey and this healing process that you are going through and what you're experiencing or what you have experienced these past few months, I feel like it's time for you to go a little bit easier on yourself. A healing process is a hard process to go through, but you also have to remember that you don't have to be so harsh on yourself. Like feeling your emotions by yourself, for yourself, getting through things by yourself is hard enough. You don't need to carry the baggage of being so harsh on yourself. If you feel sad one day, it's okay. If you feel happy the next, it's great. But you don't have to be the person to beat up on yourself if you start to feel a certain emotion that you thought you were past. Like, it's okay to feel emotions over and over again. Like, don't be so hard on yourself once you start moving past certain things, but then a couple months later they come back up because, you know, feelings are surfacing up or you experience some, like, type of triggering triggering emotions or something triggers you to feel those emotions again that you thought you were past. Like, try not to be so hard on yourself when it comes to that. Um, and we also have the card Keep Going. Um, and in connectivity with Believe in the Impossible, I feel like... It is up to you to keep going. No one else can push you or drive you to keep going. Even me just giving you this advice is not enough for, it's not enough drive or energy to get you going. Like only person that can keep you going is you. Of course you have motivation from other people. You have, you know, encouragement from other people. You have advice from other people. But the only person, like I said, everything is in your hands. And I can't remember when I said that earlier, but I feel like I said that earlier. But in order to keep going, you have to be the person that pushed through. You have to be the person that is in charge of your own life. Stepping out on faith, stepping in your comfort zone, stepping out of your comfort zone and believing that you can get through things 
you have what it takes. You know what I mean? You have what it takes. It doesn't have to be someone else. It doesn't have to be someone special. You know, you have what it takes just like anyone else will have what it takes. If you're looking at someone else and you're imagining, oh my goodness, how can they get through so many things? I watch certain people go through these things and it seems like it doesn't even phase them. Trust me, it phases them, but they kept going. Just like in this card, it says, keep going. You have to keep going. Even when things seem like they're getting a little bit harder, you still have to keep pushing. You have to get through everything that you are fighting for. And in this situation, in this scenario for what is coming for you or what you've been going through is healing your past, healing things that have hurt you, healing and moving past people that have hurt you most importantly. But you have to keep going. You can't give up. Um, and I feel like you guys are so close to, you know, finally hitting that mark. And if you're anything like me, or if you've been going through anything like me, I feel like every single time I felt like I was past something, I get triggered and I feel like I get knocked all the way back down to the bottom. And just the moment that I'm in right now, like the energy that I'm feeling right now is a sense of. I'm almost there. Like I can feel it. Like I can feel like the conclusions are within reach and just like a personal resolution, a personal issue reaches resolution. Like just those two cards, they connect with me too. Not even just you guys as the viewers, like I'm believing in the impossible. I am so close to finally just healing parts of myself. And I know that it's going to be still a lifetime of healing that I'm going to have to go through. But the fact that I feel better than I did a few months ago is a win. And I'm going to keep going. And that's the advice that I'm giving you is just to keep going. Do not give up. Keep going. Keep going. No matter what, just keep going. Just don't give up on yourself. And we also have the card Courage. Um, and that card, I feel like it really kind of speaks for itself, just having the courage to, you know, keep on pushing and keep going and just being courageous. When you think about courage, when I made this card, by the way, I designed this deck. If you didn't know, if this is your first time on my channel, but when I designed this card, courage, my thoughts of this card was a reminder of Leo and how the lion is courageous. And that's why I decided to do the yellow eyeshadow look on there. So just being like, think about Leo, how Leos are, lions are like the king of the jungle. Lions are, they're very courageous and they don't back down from a challenge. That's what I want you to walk away with from, from this video today is just having courage to keep going and, you know, don't back down from a challenge. Don't back down from the emotions. Don't back down from the hard feelings. Don't back down from anything else you may face. <clears throat> we also have the card New Beginning Fresh Start. And like I said before, this is the ending of a cycle for you guys. Like I feel like y'all are so close to finally being healed, finally moving past certain situations. And this is a confirmation that you are on your way to a fresh start. You are on your way to something better. And all it takes is just a little bit more courage and motivation and just not giving up on yourself and believing in yourself to get you to where you need to be. And we also have the card Libra Harmony. Um, I feel like Libra is also about balance. So I also feel that in order to experience this harmony in this fresh new beginning, this fresh start, there's going to be some obstacles in your way. And I feel like you're going to have to find balance between your emotional standpoint and what is actually going on in your life because sometimes we let our emotions I'm trying to use I'm trying to think of the words that I want to use to be quite honest but I'm they not they're not coming to me but sometimes when our lives when we let our emotions overrun our personal lives and our day-to-day -day life sometimes we will leave ourselves way worse off than we would have been if we just you know think with our head instead of our heart and I feel like this is a time where you need to that's crazy because I'm thinking about the lion and what was that the Wizard of Oz wasn't that like someone didn't have someone didn't have a brain or a heart or something I can't remember exactly how it go but basically like thinking with your head and not with your heart and I feel like this is a time where you need to find balance between the two because Libra is also about balance Libra is represented by the scales about balance and harmony so in order to experience this harmony I feel that you are needing to um I feel like that you're going to need to find that balance between 
your head and your heart and I hope that makes sense like those are the words that's coming to me so hopefully that makes sense for you and then we also have for the tarot cards we have the modern witch tarot so we have the ten of pentacles and the pentacles is something of the earthly realm it's something of material and the pentacles the ten of pentacles in particular represents um stability um like inheritance setting up a stable foundation for your future um and i feel like moving forward once you move past and start to heal yourself if you haven't already started to you're going to get to a place where you can actually start to experience this where you can actually start to experience setting up a stable foundation for your family for your future and i feel that for most of you or not if not all of you um you're going to be getting to a place where you move past this, like this portion of your life, of course, you're going to go through things again. You may have to heal through things again, but I feel like maybe you've been down and this is the portion of your life where you're down, but you're going to start to experience better things in your life. Of course, you're going to still go through things in life, but this is a time where you're starting to set up. I'm getting like the sense of you are breaking generational curses so that your children and their children don't have to experience the things that you are experiencing. And maybe that's the emotional baggage that you are going through. Um, so whatever the heartbreak looks like for you. And we also have the star card. Okay, so the star card, when I think of the star card, I think of like enlightenment, fresh start. Um, everything in this is saying like a new beginning, fresh start, new things coming to you. Um, and I feel like you see in the star, like she's completely naked. She's like, she's giving back to the earth. She's giving back something like in this car, she's giving the picture. She's giving back to the earth. But I also like to symbolize that as giving back to yourself as well. She's fresh out of this healing journey. She's in it not to, you know, be, let me move this because this is crazy. Cause I just like noticed this just now. Let me reset my camera really quickly. Okay. Not to be on the weird things, but in this picture of me, like I said, I designed this deck. So these are all pictures of me on the I Am Cure Over deck. And in this picture, I am topless in this picture. TMI, I know, but he can't tell because I kind of cropped it out. But it, it kind of is reminding me of this card because she is, she's, she's, you know, and I feel that she's giving back and like new fresh start, new beginnings. That's why I chose that card for that card. That picture for that card is because... I was like bare. It's like a new fresh start. And it's so crazy because the star card is like, to me, the star card is symbolizing the same thing. And I feel that you guys are starting fresh. You're starting from, you know, like when a, when a baby is born, they come out the womb and they're just, they're there, no clothes, no nothing. They come into this world just bare. And I feel like this is the fresh start that you guys have been looking for and the fresh start that you deserve to have when it comes to your future. And once you get past these emotions, this Aquarius season, all of this stuff, all of what you went through will start to make sense because you have the experience. Like I said, you're going to have the knowledge and the experience to teach it to your children and your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, and so on and so forth. Um, we also have the Ace of Cups. And the cups are all about emotions. So I feel like there's going to be a fresh start when it comes to your emotions. Like we've been talking about this entire reading. I feel like there's going to be a fresh start when it comes to your emotions. Maybe some new love coming into your life. And I feel that, I don't know, maybe someone is going to be coming into your life. If, they, if, you're, if you have been dealing with a situation when it comes to like relationships, I feel like this is going to be some new, a new person or some new love coming into your life. But if you've just been dealing with emotions as far as like family issue drama, like personal life drama, then I feel that you're getting a fresh start when it comes to your emotions. You're going to be pouring into your own cup at this point in your life. Um, so two different messages for two different people, but take whatever, you know, resonates with you, of course. And we also have the seven of cups. And this is reminding me of what I said about finding a balance um, with that Libra and Harmony card. Um, finding that balance because the seven of cups is all about options. As you can see, as you can see, she is faced with many options to choose from. And each option is going to lead to a different outcome. So Although I'm telling you this is what you can experience, it is up to you. And one of those cards beneath here, um, or I referenced that everything is in your hands previously. And 
this is that like the choice is in your hands like it is up to you to choose whichever door you want to walk through whichever cup you want to drink from basically and it is up to you to decide that so if you decide to stay where you are then you're going to continue to experience the things that you are if you decide to you know stay in your comfort zone you're going to continue to experience the things that are in your comfort zone if you decide to step out on faith and believe in the impossible and actually go out and try to find a solution to the conflicts and issue issues that you've been dealing with you'll experience different things but if you decide to stay on this side of everything you're going to continue to experience the things that you've been experiencing and things may not seem like they're getting better if you if you choose wrong and I honestly don't believe that there's ever a right and a wrong choice sometimes it may feel like the wrong choice in the moment but when you think about it you're meant to experience things that you experience. So if you choose, let's say you choose a tornado on the car and then you go through a whole bunch of more shit show. I feel like it's meant for you to go through that because maybe there was more lessons that you didn't learn when you chose something differently previously. If that make it, I hope I'm making sense. Of course, I hope I'm making sense. So we also have the magician. Like I said, everything, this card is all about having all the tools that you need to make things possible. And like I said before, the cards are literally in your hands. Everything is literally in your hands. And I feel that with the magician card, that's just confirmation that you have the power to create the reality you want. You have the power to create the life that you want. And that's just confirming the seven of cups. Like it's everything is everything is you are in control of the outcome because you are in control over how you react when you react and how you let certain emotions bother you and sometimes when you're deep in the fields of everything it may not feel like you're in control of it but you're definitely in control of it um and like i said don't be so hard on yourself if you feel it feel through it my favorite quote and i don't know if i made this but i say this a lot in order to heal through it you have to feel through it and I stand on that in order to heal through it you have to feel through it and we also have a card that's queen of swords and the queen of swords is all about honesty she cuts through the lies she is very truth seeking and I think this is you are you are becoming the queen of swords you are no longer lying to yourself about how things are how things should be you are you are literally seeing things for what they are and you're not allowing little white lies or, you know, um, I feel like this is more of a, a conversation for like, just being honest with yourself, um, having the courage to be honest with yourself and not allowing yourself to make excuses. Like, yeah, you was like, yeah, yeah, you went through a lot. Yeah, you were hurt. You went through a lot. You were hurt. You went through so much, but everybody goes through a lot. And I don't say this to, <laughs> because like I said, in the beginning, in the middle beginning of this video, I've been going through a lot, but I'm also getting to a point to where I'm like, okay, you went through this, but what are you going to do about it? Like, that's the question I feel like you should ask yourself. What are you going to do about it? Someone may have broke your heart. You may have went through a lot of turmoil last year or maybe this past Capricorn season, but what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to stay in this energy of like, oh, I'm so hurt. I don't know how to move on. Or are you going to move forward and start your new beginning? Are you going to start fresh, be reborn, have this fresh start, live in harmony with yourself and trusting your emotions and trusting your intuition and not allowing your emotions to overrun your life? Like I said, the balance of the head and the heart. Like, are you going to allow... Are you going to allow yourself to experience what you're meant to experience? Or are you going to keep holding yourself back from getting to a greater purpose in life? If you continue to stay in this energy of your life, you will never get to what you're meant to do, what you're meant to be. Um, and like I was saying before, in like being able to teach others and help others, if you don't ever, if you don't ever get through what you've been through how are you going to be able to teach others about it how are you ever going to be able to help others about it? how are you ever going to be able to break those generational curses or you know things like that I hope that makes sense um 
And then we also have the Justice card, which is also a representation of the Libra and the scales. As you can see, there are scales on here. So that kind of just confirms the message of finding that balance. And I feel like there's a decision that you will be making this Aquarius season to kind of wrap up your reading. There is a decision that you will be making this Aquarius season. And I feel like once you find that balance, there's a lot of energy about balance. And as you can see in the star, she's kind of balancing the, the jugs and the water. They're like balancing the cup on their hands. Here, she's balancing the scales and the knife. There's, you know, balancing the sword. The swords are up, right? So the decision has not been made yet. And then also like just with the Libra and the scales, period, there's decisions that need to be made. And I feel like going back to the beginning of your reading, just believe in the impossible. Believe that you have what it takes to make the correct decision. And just being honest with yourself, don't, don't hold yourself back by telling yourself, little things to make yourself feel comfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. Be honest with yourself and tell yourself the things that you need to hear and not what you want to hear. Um, but that is what I have for you this Aquarius season. I hope you did enjoy this reading. If you did and you found it helpful, please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this reading or if you resonate with it. Also, make sure you are subscribed with the notifications turned on so that you don't miss when I post another reading or any other videos on the channel. Upload every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. And of course, you do not want to miss this amazing content. But that is the reading that I have for you today. And I hope you enjoy. I hope you have an amazing 2023 or a start to your year. And I will catch y'all in another video. Thanks so much for watching.